into a seated position. So if you want to sit yourself on top of a block or something to rise the pelvis up, you're so welcome and you're able to sit in any position that's comfortable. So you can cross your legs, you can come into a kneeling position. Just getting settled. Closing the eyes. Let the belly be soft. the jaw to be soft. I'm just beginning to notice your breath. Let's resist the urge to control the breath. Let the body breathe and you are noticing. It's like you're a voyeur. And what do you notice? You might notice the movement of the body as you breathe. notice that the breath has a texture, a depth. Invite your breath now to be a little more smooth. that you're breathing be easy. So we're not forcing or pushing. Let this easefulness travel to the rest of the body. Let the breath grow a little deeper, a little longer, but maintaining this easefulness. And then add on a very gentle restriction of the back of the throat. It's about 40% capacity. So as we do this, the jaw and the mouth stay soft. If 
This is our Ujjayi breath. And this is the breath we're going to try to maintain as we move through this class. And I have a very simple intention for us in class today. And it's just to move and breathe consciously together. When you're ready, blinking open your eyes, and if you're not in a cross-legged seat, meet me in a cross-legged seat with the right leg crossed forward. You're gonna reach your right hand behind you and place your left hand to your right knee. Great. Firmly press your sit bones down into the mat, and then inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. So we're lengthening through the spine and then exhale, you're going to tilt your right arm over your left knee. Great. You'll then catch your left knee with your right hand and reach your left hand behind you. So now we're twisting in the opposite direction. Inhale, lift the left arm up, find length, press the sit bones down. And then exhale, tilt over your right knee and then catch the knee. Great, we're going to do it in a more smooth movement now. So inhale, reach the right arm up. And exhale, tilt over the left knee. Yeah, you've got it. Inhale, lift the left arm up. And exhale, tilt. Catch the knee. Inhale, right arm lift. Exhale, tilt. Catch the knee. Inhale, left arm lift. Exhale, tilt, and catch the knee. Nice, from here, we're gonna reach our hands forward. Rock to your sit bones and bring your tippy toes to the mat. Squeeze your knees together. Now squeeze your knees towards your chest and try to lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Now you're welcome to stay here or lift your legs or your feet, I should say, up to knee height. Notice if you want to roll back to the fleshier part of the body. Your work here is to really stay on the sit bones. If that's not possible for you today, just keep your feet to the mat. That's also perfect. And then see if you can maintain this slow and steady breath. This smooth, easeful way of breathing. Even in the end, a little bit of challenge here. Without bringing the hands to mat, cross your left leg over the right, return to seated. Reach your left hand behind you and your right hand to your left knee. Let's do this movement again. Inhale, lift the left arm up. And exhale, catch the right knee. Inhale, reach right arm up. Exhale, catch left knee. And just continue to move like this. Smooth and slow and mindful. Connecting breath and movement together. It's like you're moving through water or a really thick liquid. We're twisting, we're lateral flexing, side bending. Nice work. Again, we're gonna be in our boat pose. So rocking to the sit bones. Your feet can stay down to the mat or you can lift them up. Squeeze the knees towards the chest. Reach the fingertips forward as you lift your heart up. Nice. Cross your right ankle over your left ankle. Let's meet in all fours. We'll take a few rounds of cat and cow. So stack your joints, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, spread the fingers. Anchor your navel towards the spine and inhale, sit bones draw up, heart opens. 
and then exhale, round, tuck the tailbone, chin to chest. Inhale, sit bones, lift up, heart open. And exhale, round. So let's really get the shoulders involved too now. So as you inhale, see if you can bring your shoulder blades together. And then as you exhale, see if you can spread your shoulder blades as far away from each other as possible. Press the back of the heart up. Then take one more like this, inhale. And exhale. Great, let's come to a neutral spine. So we're gonna do this same movement with the shoulders, this time just isolating it in the shoulders. I'll come to my side so you can see a little better. So we're gonna bring the shoulder blades together. This is called retraction. Keep the core engaged. And then we're going to bring the shoulder blades apart. This is protraction. So inhale, retraction. Exhale, protraction. You'll start to feel some heat rising in the shoulders. Inhale, retraction. Exhale, protraction. Now this might feel like it's enough for you and you're welcome to stay here. Or if you want a little more, you're going to tuck your toes and lift your knees and come into a plank pose. As you do this, draw the pivot bone towards your face, press the heels behind you, wrap your inner thighs to the ceiling. Inhale, retraction. Exhale, protraction. Inhale, retraction. Exhale, protraction. Continue to move like this. Really try to press down through the base knuckle of your pointer finger, so the knuckle that is closest towards the palm. And again, you're really going to start to feel some heat rising in the body. This class is going to be all about strengthening and stretching the body. Taking one more. Let's find down dog. So creating an upside down V position with the body. Little bend through the knees here. Continue to press down through the base knuckle of the pointer finger as you push your sit bones up towards the ceiling. Navel is anchored towards the spine. From here, come up onto your tippy toes, drop both of your heels to the right, and then deeply bend through both of your knees and your heels will lift. You're welcome to stay here or come up onto your left fingertips You'll start to feel a stretch through the left side of the body. Maybe you shift your gaze underneath the left armpit. Push the left side of the body up towards the ceiling and then push your right hand down into the mat. Slow, easeful breathing. Come back to center. You're down dog. Lift your heels up. Bring them all the way to the left. And then deeply bend through both knees. Heels will probably lift. You can stay here or come to the right fingertips and shift the gaze underneath the right armpit. Press right side of the body up as you press your left hand down. And come back to center. Come up onto your tippy toes. Walk yourself all the way towards the top of your mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Take a really generous bend through the knees. Reach your hands behind you and interlace your fingers. Press the palms towards one another. Allow the head to be heavy. And here there could be some gentle movements. You could rock the heart, the head, the arms from side to side, if that feels good, or if you want to stay in stillness, that's also perfect. Now let's release the grip. One vertebrae at a time, we're gonna round ourselves up, roll ourselves up. When you come up to standing, lift the palms to the ceiling as you inhale, hands come to prayer. And exhale, hands come to heart. Inhale, interlace your fingers, allow your elbows to lift up. Exhale, press your palms away, chin to chest, little bend through the knees, pause here. So again, our shoulders are in a protraction, they're spreading apart. Really press your hands forward. 
Inhale, lift the palms up, straighten through the legs, reach the palms to the ceiling. Stretching through the side body, pause here. Just wrapping your lowest ribs at the front of the body towards the back of the body. Now release the grip, interlace the fingers behind you. Inhale, open through the heart to the ceiling. Maybe the gaze looks to the ceiling. And exhale, fold yourself forward. Teeny tiny bend through the knees here. Bring the hands to the mat and step your right foot all the way behind you. Keeping your right knee lifted, we're up onto our fingertips to begin with. Press your right hamstring away. Observe if your left outer hip wants to move to the side, just wrap it back. And now we can stay or begin to lift your fingertips off of the mat. So just hovering. Hugging navel in. Spine is long. Slow and deep breath. Slowly drop your back knee to the mat, reach the palms up to the sky, so we're in low lunge. Nice. Lift the skin on the belly up and send your tailbone down. And then we want to squeeze the left heel and the right knee towards one another. Inhale, lift through your fingertips. Exhale, twist towards the left, right hand forward, left arm back. Notice if your shoulders are shifting towards the front of your room. If they are, just guide them a little back so our shoulders are stacking on top of the pelvis. Keep the squeezing of the legs. Now release your left hand to your back thigh, reach your right arm overhead. Thrust your pelvis a little forward, you'll get a deeper stretch as you do that into your right hip flexor. Bending through your right elbow now, hook the right elbow over the left thigh and bring the hands together in prayer. A little bit of pressure, left thigh into right arm, right arm back into left thigh, and then open the heart a little bit. Great, release your hands to frame the front left foot. Lift your back knee and step your left foot behind you in plank. Inhale, reach the crown of your head forward. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly. If you need to drop your knees, you're more than welcome to do that. Thrust your pelvis into the mat. Press all of your toes down and inhale, open through the heart, the cobra. Hug the elbows in towards your body, back of the neck as well. Exhale, release the head. You have the option to keep the spine straight and push yourself up onto your knees or tuck your toes, lift your knees, anchor the navel towards the spine, push up plank. Again, we want to keep the spine straight and then push yourself back down dog. Inhale, slowly rises the right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee in towards chest. It's like you're moving through water. Step the foot forward. So we begin with the fingertips on the mat, palms lifted. Wrapping the right outer hip back, pressing the left hamstring away. And then you have the option to lift the fingertips off of the mat. Just hover them. Press the right heel down. Maintaining that smooth breath. The softness in the mouth. Slowly, we drop the left knee to mat as we rise the palms up, low lunge. Skin on belly lifts. Tailbone moves down. Sense of squeezing right heel back, left knee forward. Inhale, lift up through the fingertips. Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand will reach behind you, left hand forward. A 
reaching the hands as far away from one another as possible. Yes, really nice, Christian. We're going to reverse now. So right hand comes to back thigh, left hand reaches overhead. Remembering if you want a deeper stretch for your left hip flexor, just thrust the pelvis a little more forward. Hook your left elbow over the right thigh, hands come together in prayer. Finding length through the left side of the body. Broadening through the chest. And release the hands to frame the front foot. Lift the back knee, step the right foot back, plank. Crown of the head moves forward in space. Exhale, lower onto your belly. Inhale, lift up your cobra. Press the pubic bone down into the mat as you lift the heart. All the toes press down as well. Exhale, release the head. Lift yourself into your plank so you can keep the knees to the mat or lift the knees. We meet back in down dog. Walk yourself to the top of the mat. It could be two big steps or lots of little steps. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise the palms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to prayer at the heart. Inhale, interlace your fingers, elbows lift. Exhale, press the palms away, little bend, keep the knees. Inhale, lift the palms to the ceiling, lengthen through the side body. Exhale, release the grip, interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale, opens through the heart here. And exhale, fold forward. Keep the hands clasped. Release the hands to the mat. This time, step your left foot all the way behind you. Take a little bend through the back knee, but keep the knee lifted and rise the palms up to the sky. So we're in a high lunge this time. Same lift of belly and movement of the tailbone down. Same sense of squeeze with right leg and left leg. We're now going to tap the back left knee down onto the mat as we twist to the right. So right hand reaches behind you, left hand forward. And then circle your right hand down and lift it back up so we come into our high lunge again. Yeah, you've got it. So exhale, twist to the right, tap the back knee. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Keep the back leg where it is now. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, exalt. Right hand comes to back thigh. Left hand reaches overhead. And exhale, hook your left elbow over the right thigh. Hands come to prayer. Wrapping right out of here. Back like we practiced in that low lunge. Press your left hamstring away. Easeful breathing. Hands come to frame the front foot. This time, step your left foot in a little bit. We're finding pyramid pose, so we're straightening through both of the legs, folding over the front leg. Now, if that's not available to you, you could place a couple of books or some blocks underneath your hands. You're also welcome to deeply bend through the right knee, so that's also fine. Bend through the right knee, we step back to plank. So you're welcome to take our previous variation of Chaturanga and Cobra. 
or follow along with me, reach the crown of your head forward, lower down just halfway so your shoulders line up with your elbows. Keep pressing your pubic bone to face. Then come to the toenail side of the feet, point the feet open through the heart pause here. Energetically squeeze your ankles together. Continue that sense of thrusting the pelvis down even though the pelvis is lifted and open through the heart, retract shoulder blades. Find your way back, down dog, chin to chest, roll over the toes. Inhale, rise your left leg up. <coughs> Exhale, bring the knee in towards the chest. Step the foot forward. Nice deep bend through that back and you rise yourself up, high lunge. Slow, easeful breathing. So let's take these uh, knee taps and twists. So tap the back knee as you bring your left hand behind you, right hand forward. That's exhale, inhale, reach left hand back. Nice, exhale and tap. Inhale, center. Exhale, tap. Inhale, center. Exhale, tap. Inhale, center. Keeping the back leg where it is, exhale, twist only. Inhale, exalt, left hand to back thigh, right hand reaches overhead. Exhale, twist, hooking the right elbow over the left thigh, hands together in prayer. It can be a little tricky to breathe into twists. The front cavity of the lungs is a little compressed. So breathe into the back cavity of the lungs, the upper back. Release the hands to frame the front leg, pyramid pose. So set the back foot in a little bit. Front leg can be straight or bent. You can support yourself here with a couple of blocks, some books underneath the hands. Set the right foot a little back, set the left foot back, we're in plank. Let's take our flow, crown of the head moves forward, knees could be on or off the mat, lower yourself either halfway down or all the way onto the belly. Lift yourself up for your back bend, it could be up dog or cobra. And push back, down dog. We're going to walk our feet now to rest either side of the hand. So your right foot, We'll step to the outside of the right hand, the left foot will step to the outside of the left hand, toes point to either corner of the mat. I'm going to take a deep bend through the knees, we're coming down into a squat. Great. So if your heels are lifted, that's perfect, not a problem, keep them lifted. You're also welcome to sit yourself on top of a prop, a couple of books, a block, whatever you need. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart. Now slightly lift your pelvis up. Press your hands into one another and then press the arms into the thighs. And the thighs back into the arms, facilitating a little bit more broadness through the chest. Three breaths. Release the buttocks down. Bring your feet a little more forward, reach the hands forward. We're going to roll down onto our backs. <laughs> or just plump down whenever you need. Nice and slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Come on down. Walk your feet a little closer towards your buttocks so your heels are lining up with your knees. 
Press down through the heels and lift the pelvis up. Great. So from here, you're going to place your hands to your pelvis. Thumbs pointing on your two frontal hip bones and the fingertips wrapping back. And then slightly tilt the pelvis, that sense of thrust. The two frontal hip bones move closer to your face and your sit bones move closer towards the heels. Then release the hands down onto the mat. Lift the heart a little more. But try and keep the pelvis in that same thrust. Gently shift the chin away from the chest. And then rolling down the spine one vertebrae at a time. I'm going to take one more like that. Just pause here for a moment. When you're ready, press down through the heels. Lift the pelvis all the way up to the ceiling. Find that same sense of thrust. This time, also think about squeezing your inner thighs towards one another. They don't come together, it's more energetic. And then drag your heels a little back as you open through the heart and shift the chin away from the chest. Three more breaths here. And release all the way down. Bring your feet a little wider, allow your knees to knock together and bring your hands to your belly. Relax. Noticing the breath. Screen wide with the legs now, so just dropping both the knees towards the right and towards the left. Nice and slowly now, bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And it could be a gentle, gentle rocking from side to side, massaging your back and body. Shavasana now, so release the grip and finding your way, so just laying down on your back. If there were any other final movements that you wanted to make, you are more than welcome to make them. And finding stillness. Take a deep and long inhale. Releasing through the mouth, exhale. Letting go of the control of breathing now. Just returning to your normal, natural breathing rhythm. And 
Letting the body completely surrender into the support beneath you. And let the breath breathe you. I invite you to stay here for another five to ten minutes. As you do, come out of Shavasana and move on with the rest of your day. Do so slowly, mindfully. And see if you can take a piece of your yoga practice with you into the rest of your day or night. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with both Christian and I. It's such a pleasure and a privilege to guide you. I bow to you and say, Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.